Now let's applying in proving trigonometric identities. So example number one: cotangent theta sine theta is equal to cosine theta. So in proving trigonometric identities, let us prove that the identities of the left side of our equation is equal to the right side of our equation. So now examine the most critical identities. So in this case, we have cotangent theta and sine theta. So that must be equal to cosine theta. So, what is the value of cotangent theta from the ratio identity? So, the value of cotangent theta is cosine theta all over sine theta times sine theta is equals to cosine theta. So, our picnic here, here rather, all our identities must be written either cosine or sine. Now, we can cancel out the sine theta. This. Cancel out. The remaining identities is the cosine theta. So, let's copy the cosine theta is equals to bring down cosine theta. That's the left side and right side of the equation is equal example number two one is equals to tangent x plus cotangent x so now the most complicated part in our equation is the right side so we're going to manipulate our identity on the right side just copy one is equals to then write in it everything in sine or cosine so tan tangent x is equals to sine x all over cosine x plus cotan cotangent cotangent from our from our ratio identities is equals to cosine x all over sine x all over second from reciprocal second theta is um is equal to one over cosine x the reciprocal of cosine um cosecant rather is one over sine x then one is equals to sine x sine squared x plus cosine x a uh, cosine squared x that is x all over cosine x sine x all over one over cosine x sine x then one over one uh, one is equals to one rather one over cosine x sine x all over one all over one all over cosine x sine x then one is equals that is equals one over cosine x sine x times cosine x sine x all over one so that is um cancel out the the side the cosine cosine x sine x and this that is a cancel out so the remaining equation is one is equals to one